Our next bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's light heavyweight division. Okay, you know the rules. Yeah, there is no standing eight count. Yeah, protect yourselves all time and listen to my command. Touch gloves if you want. Back to the corner. What differences do you think we'll see in this lighter version of Nordi Mahadi? Judge. Well, I think we're going to maybe see a little bit more Judge. speed in his combinations because he was already fast as a heavyweight, but I want to see how fast is he we in a lighter division. Fight. Right? As the lighter you get, the faster you tend to become. So here we go, three rounds scheduled in the light heavyweight division. But even speaking to Mahidin, he's like, Micheletti's going to be the bigger fighter than me. You can see the size difference, and he's right. Micheletti's basically a heavyweight when you look at him. Mahadeen, seven glory fights. He's won four of his last five, as Tim just mentioned. But all those fights came in heavyweight. He looks like a different person in there, doesn't he? Yeah, looks good. But it's hard to have a better body than Micheletti, that's for sure. Yeah, the size is just oh, good, right? like a brick house, Micheletti. Break! Fight! Nordine's like, bro, you're throwing a knee after he said break. Active clinch, as long as you're active in the clinch. We are waiting for the next big Brazilian star to emerge after what Alex Pereira did in glory and has done at the UFC. Ooh. Some nice trading of punches there. Break. Step back. Fight. Nordin Mahadeen, by the way, has already signed up to be in April's four-man heavyweight tournament. He's going to go back up, Joe. I'm telling you, the, this a man like him is just the mindset. How he can fight, you know, a 300-pounder at his size is just incredible. He may fall in love with this light heavyweight division, to turn, to, depending on how tonight goes, though. It does look like there's a little bit of extra speed on him. Fight! But did he sacrifice power? Trying to be a little bit more active today. Trying to be first. Nice low kick. Yep. Another one. Well, oh, that was yep. in the calf. Yeah, below the knee. Ooh, that right hand scored. Oh, and Ooh. another one. And that may have rocked the Brazilian who holds on. Yeah, I think Mahadeen got a nice overhand right in that exchange. Micheletti having to reset, but still firing back. Some sneaky good low kicks from both sides. Mahadeen wants that right hand again. He's got Micheletti up in the corner, and he's slowly shrinking, it seems, Joe. Micheletti. Yeah, and the fainting, the, the patience of Mahadeen. Now you see him using ring control. Fight. Close round Fight. to score. Yeah, Fight. well, Micheletti loves those knees. Yeah, on the inside, that's like the that good strategy. And again. Break. You know Mahadeen wants to come inside. Here are some facts about the White Tiger. Signature strike is the sidekick. Haven't seen that a lot from him, at least not tonight. And he collects action figures. Joe, do you still do that? I do not. I unfortunately do not. I have a bobblehead of myself at home. That's Me the too. only thing I could do. you really? I had a Funko Pop of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Here we got Mahadeen, the little bear. Can't be the big bear anymore if he's in the light heavyweight division. He goes to adapts his fighting style. He's very adaptable. He can pressure. He can move. He can do it all. And he actually trained with Pereira in Thailand before this fight. They got to do some sparring, so that gave him a lot of confidence. But same with Micheletti has sparred with Pereira. So here's the highlight where you can see Nordin really coming inside with good boxing combinations, backing Micheletti up. There was that nice right hand we saw from good looping punches on the inside. So later tonight, Petch moves up a weight class. Mahidin in our next Glory event moves up a weight class. Not for a title, though. I know fighters who won't fight someone one pound heavier. Here's Mahadeen fighting 50 pounds up. 
That's what I'm saying, the mentality of this man. And four of the five judges gave him that first round. And for the record, Mahadeen does not have a knockout in his glory career through seven fights. Could he get his first tonight? I like the Mahadeen low kicks, especially when he puts him with his hands. Oh, that right hand scores for the Brazilian. Joe, does a lot of weight fluctuation affect your punch resistance? Well, I don't really think so. I mean, the way he can mix it, I think he's fine. Go, go, guys. Fight! Two minutes to go here in this second round. Micheletti. Yeah, he's got to use those big legs a little bit more, chopping. Yeah. Looks like he's been cut, has Philippe. I think more of a scrape maybe on that left eye than a cut. Yeah, you know, Mitch Letty really needs this win. Two and three in glory. This could be a, a really big change of momentum here if he can beat right. Nordin Mahadeen. Yeah, he's fought uh, Luis Tavares twice. His last fight was against Abena, so... He's constantly fighting with the top of the division, but he needs a nice solid win to get him closer to that title shot he really wants and keeps talking about. Nice exchange there for Micheletti. Yep, starting to use those big legs a little bit more. Good round here for Micheletti. Yeah, not much defense in the clinch. Kind of just sits there and takes them off the forearms. Got to be careful, M Micheletti doesn't put it to the head. Oh, that overhand right miss for the Algerian. But he got caught. Good stuff here from Micheletti. Goes downstairs to the body and then upstairs with a high kick. Yep, those are the types of output and combinations he needs. He can't just throw the same strikes. Mix things up. Be a little bit more unorthodox like that, mixing levels. Back to those calf kicks. Mitchell a looked down for a second. I wonder what he was maybe looking for his team. I heard him say something. Yeah. I thought maybe he hurt himself. Ooh. Ooh, we're just with fatigue kicking in, starting to overthrow the strikes. Good body work there from Micheletti at the bell. Yeah. You got to think, Mahadeen's never really cut weight, so attack the body, put some front kicks on it, throw some knees, try to wear them out. Here's Glory's upcoming schedule, April 29th. We'll be back here in Holland for Glory 85. Four-man, one-night heavyweight tournament. The winner will face off June 17th against Antonio Plazabot for the interim heavyweight championship of the world as we wait for the return of Rico Verhoeven. And don't forget, May 27th, Glory 86, live from Paris. Ooh, that's Paris, Joe. Okay. Got to get our French back going. All right, Micheletti trying to use those powerful kicks again. Mahadeen pressing forward. This was a, a better round for Micheletti, at least using his kicks, trying to chop away, mixing levels, trying to be a little bit more active. Again, very close fight. Both gentlemen have moments. But who's got the better moments? The judges will hey, I'm going to ask you this again for this fight. Let's see if you answer me. Which fighter would you rather be going into the third, Joe? Okay, I'm going to go Mahadeem. There you go. All right. Yeah, just based on the movement. Micheletti almost, oh! Hey. Oh, and that may be an injury. That could change a lot of Two, things no. here. Three, four. Is that a knockdown? Four. Yeah, it was I guess it was. Six. It was a well-timed knee from Micheletti. Seven, oh, oh yes. boy. No, no, you have to stay Hands in the high. corner for it to continue counting. Fight. Oh, yeah. Nordin is damaged goods. Let's see if, oh, it oh, goes back. Get hey. down for a second time. What a shot One, there from Micheletti! Two, three, four, five, six. That's two seven, in this round. One more, eight, it's over. Can they rally him? The crowd trying to get back behind Nordin Mehedin. He's going to protect oh. that body at all costs.
Cross, look at Felipe going for the gusto. He knows Mahadeen's covering the body, so he's ripping the head for the finish. Two minutes to go. Big knees from Micheletti. Oh, and another body strike. As Joe mentioned, he can't go down again or it's over. Oh. There it is again. Mahadeen just looking for one or two single counters. Protecting that body as best as he can. But that knee went to the head. Boy, he's taking some real punishment. 90 seconds to go. I don't know if you can survive this. He's against the ropes. What do you do here for Micheletti? Well, you got to be patient. If I'm Micheletti, I'm chopping the low kicks. I'm hard low kicking to then setting up my hands. You got a level change. You can't just hit the liver. He's blocking it. Punch the head, kick the leg, then go back to the liver. Oh, and a left hook from Mahdi. Can you imagine if he somehow gets back into this? You got it. There's a lot of energy wasted in trying to get that finish. A minute to go, and now it's Mahdi. He's on the front foot. Deep breaths from the Brazilian. Oh my! This crowd rallying behind him. Man, I'm holding my breath here. I don't know what to expect. Ray. Fight. Has Micheletti punched himself out? <laughs> I think so, but I don't even think Mahadeen can lift his right hand up. Boy, Mahadeen is really showing you something, isn't he? Just the heart and desire. And just walking forward. Oh, yeah. a hook kick from Micheletti. Clinching, working in the clinch, working in the clinch. Fight! 17 seconds for Mahadeen to land a miracle shot. Three. Let go, guys. Fight! This is it. Micheletti with two knockdowns in round number three may have clinched it. Yeah, I mean, with those knockdowns, you got to think that's his. But wow, the way Micheletti found that, was able to give him some life and came back. But Martin is tough. I, regardless, a fantastic fight. I'd love to see that first knockdown again. I know we will, but I thought maybe Mahdi was hurt, but it was a, a knee to the body. Yeah, it was, I, in my line of vision, it looked like a perfectly timed knee. So good call on the referee to, to call it. You see right here, it's versus the hook. Yeah, that was perfect. That touched nicely here as Mahadeen opens up with hooks. The knee just went right underneath. And those knees paid off. A lot of them were happening in the clinch, and then when he threw it on the outside, he got that knockdown. Nice job in the truck by Bill Borson and company. And great job by Felipe Micheletti. Will he get his just rewards? The decision is next. Welcome you back here to Rotterdam, and how about these highlights? Yeah, here we got to see the light heavyweight debut of Nordin Mahadeen. Came out very aggressive with his boxing, good movement, trying to set things up. But Micheletti started to find his knees in this clinch, his kicks on the outside, using counter combinations. In the third round, 
He was able to kind of use his knees on the outside this time, got a knockdown, and then he just continued to pressure, got a second knockdown. Joe, they say the punches that hurt the most are the ones you don't see coming. Is it the same with knees? Oh, absolutely. A knee is such a valuable weapon. I mean, it doesn't take much to hurt someone with one to do big damage. Whether you hurt a rib, the little intercostal muscles, or you get the liver, there's so much good investment in going to the body. Look how many knees were landed by Micheletti. 39 of 42 total strikes, 147 of 195. What a bounce back fight tonight for the Brazilian. Round one, round two, round three. You can see Mahadeen just slowly ran out of gas. Micheletti had a big second round and of course an even bigger third. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. One judge scores it 28-27. Three of our judges see the bout 29-26. The fifth and final judge has it 30-25. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Philippe Micheletti! So Philippe Micheletti, Joe, Gets a win over a slimmed down Nordin Mahadeen, but he had to work every second. Yeah, he really had to work. I mean, his big thing with his team is we got to get that output. I mean, if it goes to the decisions, we need to keep going, but ultimately found his knees, got the finish, and that just raises his stock even more.